All right, so this video is for everybody who's in a Greek letter organization and also claims to be a Christian. So if you say you love Jesus and your letters, this is for you. Now, I don't doubt for a second that there are true Christians who are in fraternities and sororities. And if you are legitimately saved and you're in these organizations, you know as well as I know that a lot of y'all LSs and your LBs are lost. And by lost, I mean that they're not saved. When I say they're not saved, I mean if they were unalive today, they would not go to heaven. And when I say they wouldn't go to heaven, I mean if you don't go to heaven, where else you going? I'm not Catholic, so purgatory is not an option here. Greeks talk a lot of trash about people who are t-shirt wearers, which are people who pretty much just join so that they can take all the social benefits that come along with Greek life, but contribute little to nothing to all the hard work and the actual community service that y'all signed up for. And then there's people out there who wear Greek paraphernalia when they're not even affiliated with the Greek organization they call them perps it's real easy to look the part and wear the letters until somebody who really is in the org calls you out well the same thing happens in the church world a lot of people attend church on sundays but they're not true believers in the same way that wearing an alpha shirt don't make you an alpha or wearing pink and green don't make you an aka going to church or singing on the choir don't make you a christian so if you greek and you think you're an expert on christianity I got a quiz for you. Now this quiz ain't for me, this is for y'all. Okay, you don't have to prove your salvation to me. Just like y'all can tell that I'm wearing a filter right now, God can tell if you're a false convert. My goal is that y'all do some self-examination and reflecting to determine whether or not you are truly in the faith. Cause if you can't answer these basic questions I'm about to ask you, it could be the Lord trying to get your attention. Okay, question number one, is Jamal Bryant your favorite pastor? If so, you have already failed this test. <laughs> Joking, sort of. Okay, but for real though, question number one, doctrinally speaking, how is Christianity different from every other world religion? Question number two, what is the gospel and provide a supporting scripture? Define justification. Define sanctification. What is the great commission? What commandment fulfills the whole of the law? How do we know that Jesus is God in the flesh? Provide supporting scriptures. If Jesus is God in the flesh, then who was he praying to on the cross? What's the significance of the parable of the sower? Fill in the blank. God is blank in person and blank in being. Jesus is the blank of the law. Without the blank of blank, there is no forgiveness of sins. Jesus is blank percent man and blank percent God. By blank are you saved through blank. Now don't cheat now, but tell me how you did in the comments. And if you failed, it don't mean that you're not a Christian, but it might mean that you're not a Christian. The fact is some of y'all know less Bible than Hebrew Israelites, and that's a problem.